in. You're watching the BT Hockey Classic brought to you by Shane Holmes live on Breakfast Television on City TV. Calgary Flames alumni Joel Otto, always kind enough to loan us your time to do the ceremonial puck drop. You've, so this is year nine for us, the ninth annual, and you've been involved in, I think, seven, maybe even eight? I would think somewhere around there. So always a treat. The you guys are watching. you got to razz the other alumni guys. <laughs> I think you're the number one alumni for us right now. I must be the only one that gets up this early in the morning. <laughs> they don't believe that. we got to get up. We had, of course, Dana Merzen on earlier this week, which was very kind of Dana. We've had, we've had, of course, we've had Theo Fleury, we've had Jamie McCowan, Colin Patterson, all you guys are so good around the city. And it must be kind of fun to see the girls and boys playing their hearts out on the ice yeah. on television. It must bring back some memories, too. Oh, it sure does. Uh, I grew up in a uh, small town in Minnesota, and we were chatting earlier about playing outdoors yeah, and yeah. Uh, getting up early for ice times and getting on the bus to, to play uh, indoors, uh, <laughs> only on the road, but uh, always fun. I coached uh, in the Minnesota Association, and it is bringing back memories with my two, my kids. So. Nice, nice. Your kids are a little beyond the yeah, minor hockey yeah. now, but of course you're still very in touch with it. Coaching, assistant coach with the Calgary Hitmen, yeah. kind of a rough start for you guys this year, but you know what? You turned it around for a little bit. Uh, had a real yeah. good road trip. Uh, they We played four and five nights uh, out in the prairies, came back with uh, six, six out of a possible eight points, which is real good. Got us back in contention here in our division. Um, kind of Little, little, not so great the other night in Red Deer, but we have a big, uh, big game tomorrow night against Lethbridge, one of our uh, divisional rivals. So we're looking for a good game. And tomorrow night we had uh, we had Dakota Krebs and Riley Stotts on earlier this week from the Calgary Hitmen. Tomorrow night is rough next night down at the Scotia Bank Saddle Dome, which means that the music's going to be thumping. G even during the play, and, and the guys were saying they're looking forward to that. I, I'm sure they're they're <laughs> gonna, they'll they'll enjoy it. But the coaching staff, it's funny they they crank up the music when the timeout. So we're trying to talk to the team, and, the, and, and, it's... and you can't hear. So now we can't. Probably they'll be happy they can't hear us from behind the bench all game. I was gonna say <laughs> their ears are closed, right? They're just hearing 100%. the music. Sometimes uh, that's a good thing. They'll right? have a blast. Yeah. Go go back to your pro days playing in the NHL. You mentioned a road trip, a successful road trip for the uh, Calgary Hitmen yeah. here on the road. It must been fun to bring you guys together right when you were playing on the road for sure you, you know you love playing at home you have your home crowd uh, uh, always giving you support but when you get on the road you bond you're able to you know you go to dinner you hang out uh, you're you're traveling um, you know we flew commercial my first few years so you're 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 bonding in the airports and having fun playing tricks uh, Jim Poplinski was one of the practical jokers on the team <laughs> really? so I've okay. always had some good times yeah. and you tend to play a bit, little bit tighter as a team coaches like going on the road because of that so. sure of course we're showing some old goals from well, your days as a no. Calgary Flame which well don't is all... go through them too fast because <laughs> there aren't too many <laughs> there there of course is the Stanley Cup win 88-89 yeah. and that must also always stick out in your memory as well right 100% we had a great group of guys um, uh, culminated there Tough luck, uh, you know, four years earlier when we lost to Montreal, but yeah. being able to do that was wonderful. But you know what? We, we appreciate what you alumni do around the city of Calgary. You guys are all spectacular human beings. We love having you on, okay. and thank you year after year for coming out and helping us out and helping support these kids, too. All fun. Great group of kids out there. They're enjoying it. I saw the game earlier and how much fun they had being on TV. This is wonderful. There you go. Calgary Flames alumni Joel Otto, kind enough yet again to drop the puck for us. You're watching the BT Hockey Classic brought to you by Shane Holmes live on Breakfast Television on City TV.